This 6 MOA dot has less perceived reticle tremor for steady aiming than a smaller dot. If you have astigmatism, the dot actually appears slightly rounder and the starburst doesn't cover up the dot when dialing up the brightness. But the large dot can block the target just a bit too much or completely covering it up like a thick front sight post. Here is a 3 MOA dot. It's smaller and more precise to get a tighter shot group for pistol and rifle. It also doesn't cover up a smaller target further away. What are other subtle things between these two? Starting off by addressing astigmatism first. While not everyone's eye shape is perfectly round, and that means refractive error. For an astigmatic eye, the beam of light is refracted into multiple focal points, which lead to blurry or smeared reticles like this. While most pistol red dot optics offer the 6 MOA and the 3 MOA options, which option should handgun users use? Here. The target is hard to see with both dot sizes, and the emitter glare and starburst makes it impossible to even see behind the target and the surroundings. This is even worse for users with poor vision. Whether you are using a 3 or 6 MOA dot controlling the reticle brightness relative to the lighting conditions actually matters a lot. Here. In this situation, the bright sunlight or a good weapon light can wash away the glare and leave the shooter with just a crisp center reticle. When it's time for close-up fast shooting, the 6 MOA has several advantages. 1. The dot is big enough to acquire especially when the red dot window is big like the Delta Point Pro. 2. And it's faster to reacquire the dot. The 3 MOA dot strikes the balance between a small 1 MOA dot and a 6 MOA. It can go on rifles red dot to shoot as far as 100 yards, and it doesn't cover up the target as much. It's not as tiny as a 1 MOA precision dot to get a super tight shot group or zero, but it's definitely better than the 6 MOA. If you had to pick one for just pistol use, go with the 6 MOA.